he's funny, he's witty. He, he takes, he doesn't pull punches. He always tells the truth. Always tell the truth. <laughs> Ilya Satori? Uh, I think I'm saying it right. No, it's Ilya Satori. You're trying too hard on the uh, But R. you said I have to make the R sound. Yeah, but you try too hard. It's Ilya Satori. Hey, Satori. No Satori. Ilya Satori. Was that better? Nah. I'm sorry. You're just racist. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> Against Americans. Okay. Analyzing approach. Uh, maybe you should speak a bit about the game. Yes, I think that's a good idea. We've got a standard opening once again out of T4. Looks like about a 14 pool as uh, he heads out to take I the uh, 16 hatch. Up. However, <laughs> exactly. if we look in Wellmu's yes. base, we see that there has been a variation. Wellmu, who went down 0-1 in the first game, has opted for the gateway first <laughs> opening. And I really want to ask you about this because I feel really comfortable playing against the Protoss who goes fast expand. Nexus first, no problem. Forge expand, no problem. But when I see this gateway stuff, it just throws me off. And I'm always unsure of what the best thing to do is. So what do you do when you see a Protoss player open like this? I'm a bit in the same situation. I prefer playing against Forge expands. But this style gives the Protoss, uh, let's say, worse economy but uh, faster tech. So when he does a gateway, uh, Nexus, you know he will either decide to counter your third base or he will decide to go fast on robotic or anything like that and try or usually it will be like Stargate and keep harassing you forever during all game and being safe behind that because you can't uh, counter attack a Protoss who goes Stargate and gate first. Right. And Metal on this map, uh, when the Zerg go, uh, plays like a sport expert, he gets a third base really easily and he gets a... because there's only two paths on this map, so if he gets the third base uh, safely Some and defended, the Protoss will never get his one uh, up safely. So that's why Protoss usually tend to go gate on this uh, map or try to deny the third base, because taking the third is quite hard. It's really open wide and <laughs> wide open, I mean. And yeah, that's it. So having seen this, like you see this is how you open in, in ZVP. You open with the pool and the hatch. Yeah. Um, do you think that uh, Tifo's making the right steps? He's mined 100 gas, he's getting zergling speed, now he's just back to normal. Is that what you would say the best thing to do is? It would be the best. You need speeding to deal with the uh, gate pressure, because he doesn't have press one uh, attack, so staying on zerglings can be fine sometimes. Zergling spines, queens. And yeah, you, you need to have the map control to keep scouting and not let the Protoss leave his base, because he gets one gate way, way faster. It's around uh, 5.30 to 6 minutes usually, mm -hmm. depending on how much he color boosted. Now it should be 6 or 6.30. And yeah, you, you want to have the map control and still have my lord and scout the wall. Right now, if he had uh, some circuits, he could scout the wall of the Protoss and see there's a forge. And he would take a third raid at this point and make Roach wear. Yeah. But he's not scouting sadly for Roma's him. actually been chrono boosting only no probes way. at this point, so uh, his warp gate is going to finish up around uh, 6 minutes, 15 seconds or so. And I gotta say, Stefano, when I see a Protoss open like this, I like it when they get a little bit aggressive because it keeps the Zerg yeah. player honest. Well, no, didn't do that. He just immediately expanded. And I kind of feel like he's uh, he's given up the, the advantage that you gain by putting on that pressure. Yeah, well, it's even uh, stronger in uh, uh, Hot Wheels Run because you have the mothership, and if you uh, are in a bad position or you're circled, you can just like snipe the third base, make four speeds. Uh, make four speeds first, snipe the third base, and just go away to your base straight away. That was a really dangerous moment, as Wilma was way out of position, but uh, people didn't capitalize on it. We do have a pylon down here in the bottom half of the map, so... Uh, he could be trying that, I think, because he has like five sentries right now and press one T-Lots. So, it would be the best idea to try to deny the third base. Does he know where the third but base is? But he didn't is? scout it. Yeah, he doesn't. Because uh, I, I saw a uh, at Phoenix, but I don't think he... He has Followed. no vision of the third, so... Yeah. Either he has played against Tifa on this map enough to know that that's just where he likes to expand, or he has immaculate game senses. I always take the uh, this expansion uh, is the, the direction I generally go in. Well, it depends. On this one, you are kind of uh, vulnerable to Immortal Orleans, because the path to the natural of the portal to the third base is clo uh, shorter. Okay. Full wall for Wellmu, who is uh, still working on just three gates. 
Uh, so he definitely wants to deny this base, and he's going to get it. There's no way to really do anything about it. 14 roaches on the way, but this base is dead. Like as I said, even in this situation, if the Zerg had an army to defend it, he can just put like three force fields down and go back to his base. But right now he's, Ooh, he's not controlling the ramp, which yeah, is a big mistake. That was not done very well. Uh, he should still be fine though. He's just going to force. Or actually, I don't think he should. Oh no, the roaches are all getting through, and Wellmu might be making a big mistake. Oh, that was so mis miscontrolled. Yeah. He could have killed so much without losing anything, but right now he lost all his sentries, all the energy. And he can warp at home, but he, he did no economic wow. damage. And he did that actually might just be GG. He's walled in his base, he can't take a third. He didn't kill the so third base of Tifl. Tifl can now drive. drone freely. That is a terrible, terrible mistake from Wilmo. Tifl making the mistake of not clearing out pylons. So uh, there's always a chance of additional warp ends coming in and finishing what those gateway units started. He's gonna go infestation with this spire, so I don't really know what he's planning to do. Mm. It's really unusual to do the both at the same time. Maybe Swan House Corruptor? Uh, hey, the way. I don't know, when you have a lead like that, you, you tend to just make the basic units and yeah. just deny the third base and win. But right now, he's, I don't know. You are the caster, you should be hey, Yeah, well, I'm a, well you're, the, you're the pro, and you don't know. So how am I supposed to know if you don't? There's that zealot warp in that we talked about. Yeah. And uh, this, uh, this base is going to take some more damage. There's at least one transfuse on this queen as uh, units from Tifl do manage to get back in plenty of time. I feel that's a big mistake from Wellmood to attack right now with zealots. He should have waited for like a fight, warp five zealots, and just kill the expand really easily. Yeah. Because it has like 500 HP. We're sending just two zealots when he could have sent, you know, six. Yeah. Right now he lost the zealot, he did no damage, because the zerg was in his base, so it's stupid. Uh, Tifl does manage to spot that Wellmu's taken this third expansion, still hasn't gone to deal with these pylons. Yeah. Which is uh, something that you need to do, it's important. Uh, we are seeing the swarm host upgrade, we are seeing plus one, so I think a swarm host spire, man, I think I hit a home run with that one. Yeah, you were right. You are so smart. That's why I'm. Uh, that's why I'm the pro caster. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> well, you used to see people doing random stuff, so I'm not. <laughs> Fair enough. You see, he keeps sending Zidas again, and he's not gonna kill the hatchery. Like he had a. The Zerg gave him a second chance to kill the hatchery, and then and a third chance. Yeah, he failed again, and now he doesn't there's a pylon. <laughs> like it's the third time he does a warping on these yeah. pylons, and yeah, makes me sick to see this kind of play. Well, he will get a. <laughs> <laughs> he will get a fourth chance, as there's still one more pylon. <laughs> will that bet on if, if he fails I think he gets it. I think the fourth time he, he's going to get it. I think so. Uh, swarm hosts are on the way, as are the Corruptors. Uh, so uh, we're going to see Tifl focusing on this uh, strong ground-based army. I really I want to like the Swarm Host, but I haven't been able to yet. Here we go. Fourth time's a charm. There is it's no transfuse. A big fail. A big fail. Why a only two zealots, man? Oh. Why two? <laughs> All right, fifth time. Oh, oh okay. No, he, he's not gonna get it. Now, he as this is happening, we have a big fight down here on the bottom half of the map. Still, still no. Tifa with the incredible drone control. Five tries. Six okay, tries on the way. Man, I'm glad we didn't bet on that. Maybe he has like a, a, a bet on his, in his head or something. He can't warp more than two zealots at the same time. <laughs> so he has to uh, keep the like, It's like a fun day Monday, yeah. day nine challenge. <laughs> <laughs> okay, guys, this Monday, you're only allowed to warp in two zealots at a time. That's the challenge. The pilot's still there? No. Okay. Right. He found it, finally. He had six chances to win <sighs> the hatchery, but he failed six times. <laughs> Stefano does not approve. Now this creep spread is a little bit better than my creep spread. Uh, oh, really? You're yeah. being very modest today. <laughs> well, uh, I thought like you are the master of Zergs. You do no, no, no. Perfect. I never said this. I never said this. Never claimed to be the master of anything. Okay. Uh, you were just you were just telling me that I need to work on my creep spread. Yeah. Did you watch my stream yesterday? I was streaming for like four hours, and I was like, "All right, guys, Stefano says I have to work on my creep spread," so I just worked on spreading. You have creep. like a map full of, of creep, but no unit and no economy, and something like that. Yeah, pretty much, and I lost a lot. I was expecting. You know what? I tried, Stefano. Okay. Yeah. 
it's good to try, but it's better to succeed, right? Uh, yes, certainly. Is. Here comes the big attack, roaches. Uh, locusts, corruptors. This is a. Uh, I don't really know how well I'm supposed to deal with this. I don't think that he really can. He doesn't have a diversity on his army, so the corruptors can't kill the observer right now. Which is uh, a little bit of a mistake, but it doesn't look like it's going to matter that much. We got another zealot run by. Uh, this time three zealots. Look at the. And then, uh, just that. Exactly two drone kills. Splendid. More, uh, uh, the cool thing about these locusts is it, it doesn't, it, it can look like you're killing locusts like over and over and over, but at the end of the day, uh, you anything, they're yeah. free, so it doesn't matter. So even if like all these locusts die and he kills one stalker, it's, it's oh, 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 maybe that's the ninth and final trial. The it going. Oh, Stefano, I think you're on to something. Well, I bet. Because there's a spore and no, a queen. No, I don't think he's going to get and, uh, it. It's fine. <laughs> he can transfuse. It's a, it's a race against the clock. Uh, oh, it's gonna be kind of close. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Wow, it's nice tries. To no good. There is a DT in the main base, uh, getting a couple of drone kills. Four kills on it already. Big fight happening at the outside the natural expansion of Wellmu. Corruptor is easily know, shutting down the Colossus. There's way too much Corruptors right now. Uh, yeah, th that's the strength of this strategy because he doesn't have any ground army, the uh, Zerg. But as long as he kills the observer, the Protoss can't do anything, absolutely nothing, to deal with this one. He even, uh, even has spore crawlers with yeah. it, great creep, creep spread facilitating that. Uh, DT still doing damage, 12 kills on this Dark Templar over on uh, Tifa's side of the map. Finally will get cleaned up, but not before killing one more queen, one final queen. Trying to break the contain is Welmu, and you know what, Stefano, if he breaks out here, he might win the game. What? Because there's not much money for Tifa. But he has no way to kill the... Stormhold so far. He has an observer, but he can come to the fight. Oh, there's no Versi actually. Well, no, uh, Stefano, if, there's an, if an observer shows up, then he might clean this up. just in the north, uh -oh. but he's waiting. Oh my god, after all of this, Wilma's is going to win this oh, game. Oh, he has a Versi coming, but he could snipe it. He can snipe it now. Snipe it. Okay, he got it. Uh, it's a bit late. But there's only three Stormholds left. Tifa's dead, man. He, is. he has no economy, actually. I don't know why. Because like, he, he didn't get any economic damage all game long, except this DT who killed like uh, uh, 20, seven 23 workers killed oh, by the deck I didn't notice that. So anyway, <laughs> so how do, how do you feel about the level of play in this game? Uh, I'm disgusted to be honest. <laughs> <laughs> like the Zerg had the win easily. The Protoss was warping stupidly unit after unit to kill a hatchery. They didn't kill it after nine trials. And. <laughs> The Zerg had 20 corruptors against 4 Colossi, he killed all the Colossi, he killed the Observer, but he still managed to lose. Which is kind of an achievement, yeah. let's say, to be able to lose in such a position. Things that you can only say when Stefano's next to you on set. I'm disgusted with the level of play in this game. <laughs> Any other time I say that, I'm, a, I'm an elitist prick, but with you standing here, I can get away with it. So, uh, disgusting game there as, uh, as Wilmu evens up the series. We're going to take a short break. <laughs> We'll be back for game three after this. <laughs> Antum Valley. Okay, this game sucks then. I'm gonna choose another game. I'm gonna okay, I'm gonna raise up. It's a little like, uh, okay. Play a lot against each other. Oh, okay. Realize, realize, realize. A bit wobble. 
Not that much. Perfect. Speaking of Zergs, they're kicking ass in the middle of the play of the. Yeah, that's what I thought, huh? 